So PSG are champions once again. France, this is of course a feeling we're getting very much used to considering their run over recent years. Uh, eight League One titles. They've won six of the last seven. That's kind of the key stat from that. Mm -hmm. But with PSG, there always seems to be a caveat when we talk about mm -hmm. their domestic success because you automatically think the way in which they performed in the second leg against Manchester United, and that surely dilutes pretty much their whole season. Yeah, and you could see that uh, the, the stadium wasn't uh, 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 fully packed and, uh, and, uh, and because the fans are disappointed, disappointed by the fact that uh, they couldn't go through against mm -hmm. Manchester United, uh, that they didn't respect, in fact, the club, uh, the way they played, but also because the last three games, they drew at home against Strasbourg, um, they lost at Lille 4-1, they lost at Nantes 3-2, yeah. And uh, it's because Lille drew against Toulouse yeah. this afternoon that they, 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 they are the champion. There is something wrong with those players. We, I think at some point, uh, the club will have to think about getting rid of some players who made the, the beginning of the history. We, were, we started the new era for Chelsea. Right. But they needed other players to win the league again, uh, the, the, the EPL, and also after the Champions League. That's part of uh, uh, club life. And I think some players have to leave the club in order for some others to come and maybe give another level to, to Paris Saint-Germain to be able to, give, to win the Champions League. But fans are disappointed. They don't care about the, the League One. Yeah, it's important because you need to win the League One yeah. to be in the Champions League. So it's important for the club. But for the fans, we don't pay 180 uh, million euros or 200 million euros to see players winning the League One. It's what the fans think. So they have to react and some players like Neymar, They'll have to avoid Where do you stand injured. on Neymar? Well, there was a survey on the radio network a couple of months ago, just before he got injured, uh, about um, if, one, uh, if the fans had to get rid of one of the uh, striker or the, 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 the forward uh, players, Neymar, Cavani or Mbappé, who would they pick? Yeah. And Neymar finished uh, the first with 40% of the fans wanted to, him to leave in first. They want to keep Cavani because Cavani served the club and that's yeah. been fantastic because Mbappe is just the future of the club and is absolutely fantastic. So the, the fans of Paris Saint-Germain were ready to get rid of, uh, of, of Neymar. Well, that was a tricky question, but it was the case. I think that guy has to learn how to behave in a way properly on the field. He got injured because he was teething the, the, the player and he got injured himself. He's a fantastic player. He was much better just before his injury um, in terms of uh, behavior. Mm -hmm. And he was fighting for the club. He was uh, uh, not pretending to be injured and falling down like we saw him during the World Cup. He was going great and he got injured because of one of his, uh, let's say, stupidity. I say that, Brazilian fans, they weren't very happy. But I think Pele, like a month after, said the same. So you have to, to evolve uh, if you want to win something. And he has to evolve if he wants to see Paris Saint-Germain, him being the star of it, of the club, uh, win the Champions League. I'm not surprised at that poll. Sure. And most of the fans wanted Neymar to leave because people are pretty fed up with the antics, aren't they? Uh, speaking of antics, plenty of them coming up on Extra Time today. Be sure to check it out on our YouTube channel.